from production on the land to production in a little publicised but distinctly healthy industry. The location is Parkstone in Dorset, site of the world's largest caravan works, where 350 homes on wheels come off the assembly line every week. And as 75% of them are residential, as opposed to touring models, let's look at the very latest job, the last word in luxury of design and comfort, complete even with central heating. But magnificent though this caravan is, the real reason for our visit is to introduce another in our series of great personalities of the day. A man one seldom reads about, but nevertheless one of the most interesting characters we've yet to meet. His name is William Knott, and it isn't until the end of a working day that you know the difference between him and any of his fellow workmen. He leaves by car. It doesn't matter which one, because they all belong to him, and every one a thoroughbred of its class. The reason is that although Bill Knott is both brilliant craftsman and technician, he also happens to be the boss, one of the country's top industrialists, in fact. The secret of his youthful appearance and the absence of that occupational disease, ulcers, lies in his methods of relaxation between working hours, such as a round of golf. Oh, by the way, we should mention the course at nearby Bournemouth belongs to, yes, Bill Knott again. One thing about having your own golf course, you can always be certain of getting a game. Incidentally, Bill's partner on this occasion is a friend, hairstylist Leonard Pontney. But while golf is often regarded as the sport of businessmen, another of Mr. Knott's hobbies certainly comes as a surprise. He's an amateur radio enthusiast, commonly known as a hat an interest usually associated with schoolboys, but in fact, one that is pursued by a very wide cross-section of the world's population. This, of course, is no ordinary transmitter and receiver. It's probably the biggest amateur station in the British Isles. Bill talks to strangers in the four corners of the earth, just as though they were in the same room. In fact, today, he can recognize by voice alone, without call signs, more than 1,000 enthusiasts. G3, BM, who does it? Southern England is calling CQ 15 meters. The name here is Bill, and I would certainly very happy to exchange QSL cards with you. I'll turn it back to you there and just see whether you're receiving me all okay. The radio station takes up most of his spare time, but when the weather's suitable, he recharges his own batteries with a trip to sea in his 4,000 pound Swiss speedboat named Rick Valcar after his three children. Notice too the novel method of launching from a trailer of his own design. For the benefit of motorboat fans, this fine-looking craft has a V8 engine developing 280 brake horsepower and a speed of 55 knots, which is very fast, although the speed here is restricted somewhat by the presence of other boats in Poole Harbour. In case you're thinking of taking up this sport, you might be surprised to learn that the fuel consumption of even a powerful craft like this is only three gallons to the hour. If you're feeling envious, don't, because luxuries like these are within the grasp of most people if they apply their energies in the right direction and really work for it. Bill Knott is a self-made millionaire, an inspiration to young men in all walks of life who have any doubts about the wealth of opportunity that still exists in this modern age. <laughs>